Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how I clean and sterilize vape pen components. I'm sure there are a lot of ways to clean vape pen parts. This is just my way. First off, get yourself some dirty, disgusting vape pen parts. You know, the kind you should have cleaned six months ago. For example, here's a pile of vape pen parts in various stages of nastiness. These include tips, barrels, and even atomizers. Yes, you can oftentimes clean disposable atomizers and get multiple uses out of them. Here's even a grungy disposable CBD cartridge. I haven't been able to get these disposable cartridges apart without breaking the glass. So I'm going to try to clean them as is and we'll see how it goes. Here's an example of a disposable coil I've previously cleaned after months of use. The cotton is nice and white again. The wire in the coil always has some black carbon buildup, but they still seem to work just fine. This is a mini ultrasonic cleaner I use to clean the parts. I have a separate review for this cleaner linked in the description. This unit will clean the tiny nooks and crevices that are otherwise impossible to reach. Now on to the cleaning. Hot water is a key to loosening the oily deposits. I just use hot tap water, as hot as I can get it out of the faucet. I also place an old Ziploc baggie on the bottom of the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, this is just simply so that the metal parts aren't resting directly on the bottom of the stainless steel tub and getting scratched or making any additional noise. Ultrasonic cleaners can get a little noisy. So the next ingredient is dishwashing liquid, which also helps break down the oils. Typically I use Dawn or whatever is available. You can use a generous amount because it won't froth up. So I typically run the cleaner for 30 minutes or two 15 minute cycles. This particular cleaner only does a maximum of 15 minutes at a time. At this point, I give the ultrasonic cleaner a good shake to remove any trapped air pockets. After the first 15 minute cycle was done, I wanted to take a look at the disposable cartridges that I couldn't get apart. And as you can see, they didn't fare too well. There's still lots of oil in them. And I don't think the cleaner can just can get inside there. So that was more or less an experiment to see if I could actually get them clean without disassembling them. So at this point, I will probably just dispose of them. Here we have the remaining parts in a little sieve uh, after the 30 minute cycle, getting ready to be rinsed. Here is the dirty water and soap solution. So now we're on to the second phase, which is basically the sterilization phase. I'm simply using plain tap water. I like to dump my parts in the water before it is boiling, so there's no risk of cracking the glass due to a rapid temperature change. I don't know if all the glass is Pyrex or not. Better safe than sorry.
Raider the English Bulldog getting his peep. Joey the American Dingo is saying, no way, where's my peep, man? That's better. Okay, now the water is boiling and I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it's obviously over. And I take it to the sink. And you can see oil floating on the top of the water. So even the ultrasonic cleaner with the hot water and the dishwashing soap wasn't able to get rid of all the oil. So I'm just trying to slowly equalize the temperature again so the, gra the uh, glass doesn't potentially crack. Straining the parts into a strainer so I don't lose anything. And this is really interesting. You can see all the oily residue around the edge, inside edge of the pot. So there was actually a lot of oil still left in the parts. And now we're back up in the bathroom with the parts. Still wet. I'm just going to dump them all on a paper towel. Nice and shiny. So these are all nice and clean, fresh, sterilized. There is some haze on some of the metal parts, which I'll talk about in a minute. But overall, these are perfectly acceptable to put back in service. When all is said and done, this process provides pretty good results, but it does still leave an annoying haze on some of the metal parts. Uh, the haze is sort of a light waxy buildup. This can be hand scrubbed off if it's annoying though. A tip I heard from a watchmaker is that the addition of alcohol into the process leaves their watch gears bright and shiny. My assumption is that alcohol would have to be introduced at the very end, maybe the, uh, a third step after the boiling, soaking in alcohol. I haven't tried it myself, but it sounds logical and it sounds like it makes sense. If you have any suggestions how to get rid of this haze, please leave a comment below. So here is one of the coils I cleaned. Notice the cotton is nice and white. I can assure you this coil was probably used a couple months and the cotton was a nasty dark brown, almost black. After running it through the ultrasonic cleaner and giving it a good boiling, the cotton is almost like new. The only problem I'm having cleaning these disposable coils is with the coil wire. The coil wire is holding carbon deposits. If we look down the center of this coil, we can see the spiral coil wire with the black carbon deposits attached to it. Now, obviously soap and ultrasonic cleaning won't remove it. I've also tried adding vinegar to the sanitizing boil stage, but that didn't do anything either. So if anyone has any ideas how to clean off uh, these carbon deposits using a food grade product, please leave a comment below. So that, my friends, is how I clean vape pens. The addition of the ultrasonic cleaner helped the cleaning process immensely. There's still definitely room for improvement in the process though. How do you clean your vape pen parts? I would love to hear, so please leave a comment below. Hey, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It was a pleasure doing this for you. Have a great day. Adios.